No? So, and then we already have uh, about prayer book na pwede natin i-contextualize sa Philippine City setting. And then we have confirmation and confession. Alam niyo po, nagustuhan ng marami kabataan sa Germany itong confession kasi ang ganda ng presentation. Sana madala natin ito, matranslate natin ito sa Filipino, sa sa mga dialect, sa mga libwahe po natin dito kasi napakaganda. And susunod ang ilalabas sa uh, next year sa 20, uh, 2018 during the family world family meeting sa Ireland, ilalas na po yung Kids Cat. Tapos susunod na yung Histocat. <laughs> History of the Church. At medyo yung controversial, hindi ko alam kung magpubush through yung Love Cat. <laughs> About marriage. Theology of the body. About, uh, yeah, medyo critical itong issue na tapa because of homosexuality and yung same-sex marriage issues and etc. So, we also involve ourselves in different evangelization programs like we, our involvement sa second night, uh, Philippine Conference of Evangelization. May nakatid po ba kayo dito na share ito? Yung inilos po namin yung yukat doon. And then we held the first international yukat congress last November. We called it Congress of Mercy. And we, we proposed that we will institutionalize this term Congress of Mercy as a response to the Jubilee of Mercy. So the Yucat Foundation will uh, institutionalize this Congress of Mercy and it will be, hopefully it will be uh, done every two or three years. Kasi po meron next year, uh, i-explain ko mamaya, yung susunod na plan ng, ng Yucat Foundation. And bunga po noong Congress of Mercy, kung natatanda ng mga umatid, Meron tayong inilos na cross of mercy and it is now going around the Philippines in different and several dioceses. Tapos nga po yung kamay ng nabisita na po ng cross of mercy. Ayan po. Maraming salamat po. Pakipanapakan po. Salamat sa inyong pagtanggap sa cross of mercy. Ngayon po nasa Mindanao na yung cross of mercy. Apo. So, siya yung nagpapatuloy ng alingaw-ngaw. Ng sigaw ng about ng Diyos. And then, uh, UCAT Foundation also participated in the 31st World Youth Day in Krakow, Poland. We sent, uh, sent uh, 45 delegates coming from UCAT uh, Philippines. At ito pong uh, 45 na ito ay nakiisa doon sa international campaign ng DUCAT, yung One Million for the Pope campaign. So, na nagkakaroon po kami, na-involve po kami sa main programs ng World Youth Days kasi siguro makikita niyo yung mga volunteers natin on the stage mismo. Kasi we are deeply involved sa program po ng World of Days of Poland recently. And then, ito po yung future plans. Uh, UCAT Philippines will hold the, the result training for facilitators in Tagaytay. This coming October 24 to 28. So, result means uh, we, will, we will train facilitators, especially how to conduct study groups, Know how to how to do it. No, so if you are interested to join us, please let us know. Sa sa tagay tayo ito. Later on, we will give you the the contact details. And then, the Philippines will also establish the Pope Centrum. Ano po ito? Nung uh, World Youth Day po, isa sa message ni Pope Francis during the uh, Stations of the Cross. Sabi niya sa young people, be sowers of hope. Be sowers of hope. Ito isa sa napakabigat na challenge. And that is why we, we conceptualize the, the Hope Centrum, Hope Center. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng Hope, hope Centrum? It's a house of prayer and evangelization. So mag-open po kami sa Manila through the courtesy of Mrs. G.K. Bulago. Uh, he will allow us to use one of her <laughs> properties in Manila to use it as the Hope Centrum. So, dito mangyayari yung uh, mga trainings, formation programs, at uh, meron ding prayer sessions, and evangelization activities. So, it will be open for, for all. Uh, to Hope Centrum. And then, next year, we are going to hold the first international uh, Dukat Camp. So, last year, yung Yukat Congress, so next year will be the Dukat Camp. It will be longer, it will be five days. And we uh, suggested that it will be 
held on April 19 to 23. Kasi po yung 23 ay Divine Mercy Sunday. So, yun yung pinaka-culminating uh, day, yung Divine Mercy Sunday. Kasi po, uh, we will tackle the 12 topics sa Dukat. So, there will be 12 camps. So, yung, yung mga kabataan, yung mga participants ay ihahati sa 12 camps na will focus on particular social issues at ano yung stand ng church. Like, uh, human trafficking, cyber crimes, no? So, ito po. And then, uh, when I went to Germany, uh, na-conceptualize po namin with the Yukon International and with the Pontifical Council for the promotion of new evangelization under yung Sakati cases, na ito na po yung direction na nakikita ng Pontifical Council to establish discipleship schools. Ano po? So, we proposed three plans sa discipleship program. Una-una yung weekends na parang na, kung na, familiar po kayo sa YE, sa mga prex and gorsilyo ng mga weekend programs. So, we will design weekend programs about sa uh, what to know, what to do, tapos sa Bible, yung salvation history, and then of uh, even sacraments. So kapag nakatapos po sila ng mga weekend program, sabi po ng Pontifical Council, they are willing to extend their support by recognizing yung kanilang na, na pagdaanan by giving certificates signed by the Pontifical Council. And then after po noong yung weekend programs, kung pwede ituloy, the, the Yukat Foundation will all international will also organize a six-month program. Stay-in program ng mga young catechists. Yung, yung three weekends po, the result is young disciples. Ano po? Yung, yung recognition from the Pontifical Council. Young disciples. Ibig sabihin na, na, na palalim yung kanyang pakikipagkaibigan kay Jesus. Kung gusto pa magpalalim, meron pong six-month program and they will become youth, young mission. Ano po? to yung certification na ibibigay ng Pontifical Council. And then, yung longer term ay two years program, parang master's degree na. So, ito po yung on the process at uh, uh, the Pontifical Council is actually very supportive dito sa mga ganitong programs. At uh, based kay Bishop De Bars ng Pontifical Council ng Catechesis, uh, they are going to do the revised uh, catechetical directory. So, ito yung isa sa mga ibigyan nila ng highlight yung pagbubuo ng mga discipleship programs. And then also, you at Philippines will initiate the creation of CLE, RE Textbooks for K-12, patterned after Pope Benedict the 16 inspired methodology and catechesis, yung know, share, meet, and express. So, yung din natawag namin na Y, y, y series na pwede gamitin ang mga schools, ang mga parishes, communities, no? alongside with, with these uh, resource books. And then, uh, ito na po yung sinasabi ko kanina, yung Young Disciples. And then, ay, sorry. Next time. Tapos na po. Okay. If you want to know more about us, if you want to participate, we would like to invite you to join us sa mga programs po ng UCAT uh, Foundation, pwede niyo po kami contact sa, sa contact details po na ito. And then, uh, ang UCAT Foundation po is uh, the daughter, sabi niya, daughter foundation ng Aid to the Church in Need. Ang nag-finance ang tumutulong po sa, sa UCAT Foundation ay ang Aid to the Church in Need. So, for new evangelization. So, uh, kung kayo po ay may mga initiatives sa inyong dioceses, like program development na nangangailangan kayo ng funding, pwede po kayo, especially as regards to evangelization through yuka, duka, like this, kung halimbawa ang, ang yung halimbawa yung active or, or mga catechetical organizations din yung gusto, gusto mo, yung ACRE, like gusto mo develop ng mga programs para din, hindi po kami yung nagmamayari ng yuka at duka, ano po? Ito po yung may ari na simbahan, lahat po ng ito. Huwag niyo pong i, mas, niyo po sanang isipin na ito ay lahat sa yung katwa. Hindi po, ito yung para sa simbahan. Ito po yung mga dokumento. Kami ay tumutulong lamang sa program development. Kung kayo po may nakikita kayong mga initiatives na kailangan gawin, para po sa new evangelization, please do. 
please do. Ito po'y para sa buong simbahan, itong mga materials po na ito. So we are just uh, providers, tool providers. Ano po. So yun lamang po sa site po ng UCAT Foundation Philippines. Maraming maraming salamat.